Hello and welcome to episode number five of Geek Speak with Envision IT, a podcast for business leaders and technology experts that like to stay on top of the latest security news and listen to interviews with insightful industry leaders. I'm Bill Crane, Chief Stakeholder Architect and CTO at Envision IT. Let's get started. Today I want to spend a little time talking about some things we've seen with the coronavirus. Just kind of give some insights and some ideas on how you can protect yourself, uh, not from the virus itself, but from, unfortunately, uh, the bad actors that are taking advantage of people during this time. Um, we've seen definitely an increase of phishing, and, and these phishing emails are now very well targeted towards employees and you know making it look like emails are coming from your HR department or you know, other places that you would trust. And what we're seeing, like, like a lot of other phishing emails, is... Uh, maybe recommendations that you follow a link or you know, maybe you're sent to a portal that looks an awful lot like your own you know, SharePoint site or your own system that you're going into all the time, even though it's a fake site. And what they're trying to do is collect usernames and passwords in the hopes that certainly they can get into your own corporate systems, but also, you know, maybe by chance you reused a password and they can get into your, you know, your personal banking and so on. So be aware of that. Uh, make sure you're really investigating those links. Um, and then, you know, if in doubt, just confirm with your HR department or, or, or your leaders and see if those are real emails or not. We've also seen where these bad actors are actually selling coronavirus infection kits. Um, again, those are, you know, hackers selling to other hackers, basically you know, phishing kits and, you know, email stealing kits. So definitely seen an increase in those. We've also seen an increase in denial of service attacks. The U.S. Health and Human Services Department has been experiencing a high level of those, uh, which is unfortunate. Last thing I want to mention is we've seen a lot of customers deploying work from home opportunities for their employees. Um, this is great. Keep them at home and safe. Um, a lot of customers have already had these systems in place, so it's just a matter of scaling up. Um, in fact, we had a, a webinar last week on that as well, if you want to listen to that. But just things to keep in mind, if you are using PYO or personal devices at home, just make sure those are all you know, patched and have endpoint security on them. Also, make sure users are educated and using their password vaults if that's possible. And probably one of the biggest things we've seen is, is being effective is using multi-factor authentication. So if you're using any kind of VPN, again, make sure those are patched. We've seen last year a lot of vulnerabilities in VPNs. So make sure those are patched. And then, you know, again, jointly marrying those up with multi-factor is really, really effective. So make sure you have that in use and um, hopefully everyone stays safe out there. Thanks to all of you for joining today. If you have questions or any future topics you'd like us to cover, please be sure to connect with us via the link in the show notes. And if you enjoyed today's episode, be sure to subscribe for free on whatever platform you listen to your podcast. We'll see you next time on Geek Speak with Admission IT.